All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to subtract fractions that will require regrouping. And only this time, I'm going to show you how to think of subtraction on a number line. For example, you know, when you're growing up, if you think about, you know, 7 minus 4, the idea was you would think of a number line, and you would say, well, here's 7 somewhere on the number line, here's 4 somewhere on the number line. And the idea was, well, how much do you have to add to 4 to get to 7? And if, in this case, the answer would be 3. So that means the answer 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. So we're thinking of the subtraction as, what do you have to add to this number, the second number, to get to the first number? So what do you have to add 4 to get to 7? You have to add 3. So that's how we're going to think of subtraction in this video with fractions. So 6 minus 2 ninths. I want you to think of it as a number line. So here's our number line. Somewhere on this number line, there lives a 6. Somewhere on this number line, obviously somewhere on the left, is the fraction 2 ninths. So the idea is we want to figure out how far is it from 2 ninths to 6. Well, let's take a couple of steps. Let's do this in baby steps. Well, 2 ninths is less than 1 whole. So if I add 7 ninths, so add 7 ninths, I'm going to end up at 1 whole right here. So then if I add 5 wholes, I'm going to get to 6. So the difference between 2 ninths and 6 is equal to 5 wholes plus 7 ninths because that's what we had to add to the 2 ninths to get all the way to 6. We had to add 5 wholes plus 7 ninths. In this example, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to use a number line. And we want to figure out what do I have to add to 1 and 3 sevenths in order to get to 5. So let's put them these two numbers on the empty number line here. So I'm going to put 1 and 3 sevenths right here. Somewhere over to the right is going to be 5. So we want to figure out what do we have to add? How far do, is, what's the distance between these two numbers? Well, this number right here is something less than 2. And so we can see that if I were to add 4 sevenths, that's going to put us now at 2. Why? Because 1 and 3 sevenths plus 4 sevenths gives us 1 and 7 sevenths, and that's the same thing as 2. And then how do you get from 2 to a 5? What do we have to add to get to a 5? We have to add 3. So all told, we've added 3 and 4 sevenths. So this answer right here is 3 and 4 sevenths. On this video, in this problem, both numbers are mixed numbers now, but it's still the same exact idea. So we're going to put these numbers on an empty number line. 2 and 4 fifths is somewhere on the left. 8 and 1 fifth is somewhere on the right. And our job is to figure out what is the distance from 2 and 4 fifths up to 8 and 1 fifth. All right. So I can see that this number is a little bit less than 3. So what do I have to add to this fraction to get it up to 3? I'm going to add 1 fifth. 2 and 4 fifths plus 1 fifth gives us 3. And then I could go from 3 up to 8. So 3 plus 5 gives us 8. And then to go from 8 to 8 and 1 fifth, I have to add another fifth. So all told, what do I have to add to 2 and 4 fifths in order to bump it up to 8 and 1 fifths? Well, I have to add 5 and then 2 fifths. 1 fifth plus 1 fifth is 2 fifths plus the 5. 5 and 2 fifths.
On this problem, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the distance from 1 and 2 thirds all the way up to 3 and 1 fourth. And finding the distance is going to give us the subtraction answer. Now, we don't have common denominators, so the first thing we have to do is get common denominators, and in this case, our common denominator is 12. And so, to turn 1 fourth into a fraction with a denominator of 12, we're going to multiply by 1. Only our 1 is going to look like 3 over 3. So, four, 1 fourth times 3 over 3 gives us 3 twelfths. And then over here, we're going to multiply by 1. Only our whole number, our 1, is going to be 4 over 4. So, we're going to get 8 twelfths. So, now we have a problem that's a little bit easier to do. Uh, so what we can do is we can change this 2 thirds to 8 twelfths. And we can change this, three t uh, change this 1 fourth to 3 twelfths. And now it's really easy to find the distance between 8 and 1 twelfth and 3 and 3 twelfths. So this is something a little bit less than 2. So what do we have to add to bump 1 and, one and 8 twelfths to 2. We're going to add 4 twelfths. Now we're at 2. What do we need to go to get to, oh, let's say 3. It's right here. Well, we're going to add 1 whole. And then finally, right here, how do you go from 3 to 3 twelfths? We're going to add 3 twelfths. So all told, to get from 1 and 8 twelfths all the way to 3 and 3 twelfths, we're going to add, I'm going to make the equal sign right here, we're going to add 1 whole plus 7 twelfths. And that is your answer to this final problem.